everyone, welcome to the second video of Roblox Game Development Today. Thank you guys for tuning in this hopefully fine evening. I don't know what the weather is like for you guys, but I'm hoping it's fine and dandy and that you are enjoying your day. Alright, you've enjoyed your day, and hopefully I can make your evening just a little bit better here. Alright, so, so far today we've made a little laser. I'll zoom you guys in on it. This is what we've gotten done today. We've made a laser like object GY text box thing magic. It's not really all that great. It's not all it's cracked up to be yet. It's not a laser. But we're going to make it seem like one, at least a little bit, here. So let's go to the explorer now. Copy our laser, and actually, you can hit Control X to cut it, or zoom up here. You can also hit this scissor button, which is cutting. Back to Explorer, I probably went off frame there. Oh, well! Oh, well. Control X. And we're going to paste that into lighting. And we're actually going to go into lighting, and we're going to make a new model. Oh, we can't. Maybe it's not going to let us. Alright, that's fine. Uh, anyway, now that it's there, we're going to go to our player script here. And now in, oops, scroll too far. Now let's take this out. We'll actually keep the print in uh, for now. Uh, just, just for debugging purposes. And we're going to put in laser. We're making a new variable inside the function, a local variable that can only be accessed, accessed within this function. And it'll be called laser equals game.lighting.laser. Go up to the explorer here. Game that lighting that laser. Okay, so that's pointing all the way down to that. And then back over here, we're going to clone that with a built in function that I'm sure I've shown you all before. And it's clone. And that'll just give us a, another instance that's just like the last one. And then laser that parent. I believe we have a player up here, right? Yes, we do have a player variable equals player dot uh, player GUI dot two D game dot window. Okay, and then simply from here, laser. Actually, we'll need to move it to the parent later. We'll put laser dot position equals u dim two dot new. And what this will be is it's going to be our character's position as well. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll have to do some extra stuff tomorrow to make the lasers actually move. Ah, uh, but today we're just going to make it actually up here. So we're going to put, uh, what, do we have a variable for our, yes, we have player. So, actually we could just put... Nah, we'll do it this way. Player dot position dot x, and let's see. Go to the properties here. Lasers width is what? It's a three percent. And if we go to our player down here, what is his width? Five percent. Okay. So back over here. Player dot position dot x dot scale plus point zero one to add an extra percent to center the laser. Zero player dot position dot x dot oh not x dot y dot scale let me move my cursor scale and now let's go back to the player okay he's got five percent for his height as well but what does our laser have for its height? Ah half a percent quite a big jump. So if we subtract half a percent okay let me pull up the calculator here. One second. Okay, I'm back. Now, I could have done this calculation in my head, but I want you guys to actually see what would happen. So if we take 0 0.05, which is equal to 5%, and we subtract a half a percent, which is 0 0.005, we'll get 0 0.045. And that's 4.5%. Now, in order to find how much we need to add on for our player, we'll divide that value by 2. 
and that gets us this fine and dandy number two and one quarter percent. So we'll delete the calculator now, and this, in here we'll add in plus point zero zero two two five. Oh, not two. There we go. I believe. Yeah, that'll be right. Yep. And then another zero, and we are done with our UDIM2 value. I don't know what this red line is for. Yeah. Apparently, we can't start the name of something if we plan on indexing it this way with a number. But what we can do, and I showed this to somebody uh, in a comment uh, on my last, no, second to last video, yesterday's video, I think it might not have been, eh, some video. And here's what we do 2D game. And we just treat it as if it's an array. And I've shown you guys this before, I believe. Because it is an array. And those are their indexes. Their names. So 2D game. And now it should work fine. So we'll press F6 and we'll test it. And great job again. Looper 67. I Every time I see it. Every time I see all of these, I'm amazed. It's just like, how are there such great artists that just... They're kids. Um, anyway... So we're going to press spacebar. You can see it's I'm a fire in my laser. And if we move, there you go. We've got our lasers. Of course, our character is still covering them up because he has a higher Z index or Zindex or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but that's okay because we actually want him to do that. So you can see our laser. It's not moving, but it's good. So we'll finish up with our laser, hopefully, tomorrow. Because we're going to have, I'm going to try to have two videos tomorrow. One at noon, one at 6 p.m., both Eastern Standard Times. And they're both going to be tutorials. So hopefully you guys can stay tuned and watch both of them and learn as much as you possibly can. All right, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button. It helps me out in every way possible. And I catch you guys later.